This morning after the festival last night, we slept in because we were super tired and exhausted for the full day that we had. So this morning I've spent the entire day kind of cleaning and getting ready for the week and then also getting ready for a friend that's coming to visit us here. She's coming from Switzerland and she's gonna stay with us in Venice for I don't know how long. She might end up going to Rome with us also. We're really excited because I love when people come stay with us simply because Logan works all day and then it allows me to have a partner to go out and wander the city with. All right, we are starting our day and it's 3.30. <laughs> we definitely slept in, but I also got a lot done around the house this morning. And Logan has a spot for us deep that he's picked out. Hopefully it's open. It is open. Okay, first off is a little place that we found. Ooh, I'm oiled. It's the sunscreen. It is a sunscreen. Um, and we just did happy hour. We did two apples and two bruschettas. Two bruschettas. And then after this, Logan has a plan for where we're gonna eat. Okay, we just had a great cool down in the restaurant. Um, had a little bit of a coffee, and now we're going to go take a gondola ride, which is a two euro gondola ride across the Grand Canal to go get food. And I think I'm gonna try to do a little bit of shoe shopping. And so this is the two euro gondola just to get across the Grand Canal. Worth it. It's so nice, actually. Super nice. After a really late lunch, we have decided to just wander around and look for shoes for me because mine have holes in them at this point because I've had them for six months and walked in them religiously every day. <laughs> this European heat wave is no joke. Logan is already shirtless. <laughs> We're gonna head back to the grocery store here in just a little bit. After we cool down and make a little bit of a list, I have not <laughs> I have not found shoes yet, but that is also because a lot of the shoe places are closed today because it's Sunday. So I'm going to wait until Monday and I'm gonna to go to this sports store. I talked to a gondolier who had shoes that I really wanted because they're supposed to be good for walking and really comfortable. And he said they're phenomenal, but it's at this sports store that isn't open today. So I'm gonna go try to do that tomorrow. Here we cooled down and I changed clothes because <laughs> my dress was soaking wet with sweat. We are on our way back out to go grocery shopping because the grocery store closes in like 30 minutes. We're gonna go have one more dinner out before we start eating in the rest of the week. Um, we're gonna go to this little pizza place. It's like pizza and an Aperol spread for like seven euros, so that's what we're gonna go do. Okay, pizza was not my favorite, but it was good for seven euro with a spritz. I would go there again. Yesterday I was in a mission to try to find some better shoes because mine have holes in the heels now from walking so much because the last time I got them, the last time I got a new pair of shoes was in Barcelona and that is over six months ago now. So I'm going to two different shoe stores today. I'm going to try to navigate the water buses by myself because Logan's working and he's normally one that navigates them because he's really good at the maps. But I'm gonna try to do it today by myself because I do need to practice because our friend is arriving tonight at six tonight and I'm gonna be navigating them by myself with her. Okay, first challenge, I got on the bus and I got off on the right stop. Arrived right when I got there, perfect timing. Okay, first store I had one option that I could try on and liked, um, but I'm going to go to the sports store that the gondolier told me to go to, and I think I'm gonna have a better chance there. All right, in that last store, they did have more options for shoes that I could potentially want. Um, however, they weren't leather, and I almost got talked into spending 170 on a pair of shoes I didn't want. Thankfully, a call with Logan helped me out, and I didn't have to get them. <laughs> I have a trouble saying no. Oh my gosh. It is like I'm drenched in sweat. It is gross hot outside right now. All right, uh, change of outfit because the other one is still soaking gross wet. <laughs> I'm soaking wet from sweat. Like it feels like 103 degrees Fahrenheit here. I'm nervous for Rome. My still one just texted me and said it's 39 there today Celsius. Ooh, I'm nervous. But we are on our way to the train station to go pick up our friend. I don't know if she wants to be on vlog yet, so I have to ask her. I have a feeling she won't mind. Um, but this entire next two weeks, 
we have like jam packed full of things that we're gonna be doing with her. All right, we just got here. Now we just have to go find her. Okay, so we did pick up our friend Arabella. <laughs> we just got our spritz and we're walking around the city. Um, we made dinner, we made the cashew at Pepe again. And I think the rest of the evening, we're just gonna wander around the city. It is quite hot still, but it's much nicer now than it was today. Okay, so we're going outside just to kind of enjoy a little bit of the night. Arabella is settling in. Um, we are planning our day tomorrow. We're going to take the water bus to Murano and Murano so she can see the colorful buildings, the glass museum, and the lace museum. Abby made a friend today. got to Burano. I dropped my snail friend off in a nice little bush so he's got a good home now. Hopefully he finds a new little family. We are going to go grab a bite to eat. I found a place last night it's called like Bar Sport and it looks like it's pretty affordable so we're gonna go try that out. All right we just sat down and had just a quick bite to eat. Pizza, some coffee. Um, we are now going to try to find like a little hidden spot to fly the drone from. Um, I've seen drone footage of Burano and I really wanted to get some because it looks gorgeous from up top. The Lace Museum was very small. It's only like one little level. Um, we're gonna grab ourselves a gelato and then I think we're going to head over to Murano. Okay, we got a sorbet instead of gelato. This is definitely moving this heat. Like, <gasps> off to Murano. It is another scorching day out. It feels like 103 today, but we're still gonna try to get to the glass blowing even though it's gonna be even hotter in there. We just found out that the glass blower, his name is David, and he has been, he was born on this island and he has been doing glass blowing since he was 14 years old. Now we are going to head to the glass museum again um, so Arabella can actually see um, all of like, what has actually goes into this glass. And then I think we're gonna head home and chill in the air conditioning because it is too hot. pretty early again. Um, we are going to head to go to the Basilica today and try to get in. Um, I wore long sleeves and a long dress. Logan wore long, long pants. Arabella's got a cover, so hopefully we get let in. Um, we're also gonna go to the clock tower and then I'm gonna be taking Arabella to Joe's Palace and the Correr Museum. Okay, time to stand in a super, super long line. We're just really lucky it's an overcast day and we're not gonna be baking in the sun in this line. So we are in the super long line and who knows how long it's gonna take. I'm gonna time it. It is now 11.24, let's see what time we get in. So we've been standing in line for only 16 minutes and we're already almost at the front. So the line moves extremely fast. 
um, and admission is three euro to get into the Basilica, which I think is well worth it because you get a whole view of St. Mark's Square. All right, we made it in and it only took us about 20 minutes. Like, not bad. I wouldn't skip the line. The basilica and the roof of the basilica is so worth it. It's three and seven euros, and I say completely do it when you're in Venice. If the line, if you skip the line, it's like a six euro cost to skip the line instead of three euros, but the skip the line line maybe gets you in five minutes earlier than the long line. The line was really fast. All right, we are now going up into the bell tower, which is supposed to be one of the best views of Venice. This is 10 euros each though, um, so it's a little bit more pricey than the Basilica, so I'm gonna see if it's worth it. recommend definitely go see that it's literally the best view of Venice that I've seen it's almost like a drone's eye view from up there we're getting the best for life in Venice okay this gelato totally worth it <laughs> so I decided to try to take Arabella to these uh, the water aqua library looks packed but we'll see We are now just gonna go get a couple of Aperol Spritz, chill out. We decided against the Doge Palace and Museo Carrera today because tomorrow we don't have anything planned and we don't wanna have to rush ourselves. So we're gonna wake up and go there tomorrow when it's a little bit cooler in the morning. We came home and thankfully we came home because it started to rain, but like the thunderstorm that was rolling in was so beautiful to watch. Like the lightning across the sky was magical. Um, so we're gonna stay in for the night because it's pouring out right now. I think we're gonna do some facials and watch some Harry Potter. 